Hey guys, welcome back to episode 11 of my FTB Revelation Let's Play series. Uh, between episodes, I expanded this a little bit, so now it processes <clears throat> the stuff like the diamonds, the emeralds, all the things that don't need to be smelted, they just need to be pulverized. Um, so that's going pretty smooth. I'm using resonant retrievers on here, which means I can't upgrade them any further, and I'm out of slots on this one, and I have one left on this one. So, hopefully there's no more surprise ores in there. Uh, this one I actually had to reset three times because I kept accidentally removing it. So that was fun. Um, I tried setting it up so that I could pull all of these straight into the AE system or into that chest over there. And that didn't work well because everything coming out of these three machines would always come back into this chest. And then uh, I tried putting a servo on here. And that wouldn't allow any of these items out. So if you have a good idea for how I can do that automatically, let me know in the comments down below. It would be pretty helpful. Um, but uh, eventually this is probably going to move to an AE system instead of a uh, item duct system, just so that it's faster. Uh, and it's also going to use an ender chest instead of a diamond chest. So this episode... We're going to try and make use of this uh, liquid essence or mob essence, whatever it is. Um, I've already expanded out our room a little bit, uh, one block to the left and to the right. Um, and I added a row of vector plates right here so that mobs would actually die because they weren't before. They weren't actually getting into the kill radius of the crusher. So they were they were hanging out in this row right here and not dying. So I fixed that. So <clears throat> this time we're going to have three mob duplicators. Uh, one for blazes, one for wither skeletons, and one for slimes. Why slimes? Well, slimes are useful and we need slime pearls. Uh, I've got one right now. It took me a long time to get that. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of myself. You should give me some applause. Um, so. We need to come over here. We're going to need the three mob duplicators. I've already got the mob uh, imprisonment tools uh, right here. Oops. Already got the mob imprisonment tools. Um, <clears throat> we're going to need duplicators. Should be fairly easy. I think we've got all of that. No, we don't have magma cream one two three four five six that'll do all right and then we need 310 gears we need auto crafting soon uh, oh glass all right sand throw that in there That's probably going to back things up, but oh well. This is why we're switching to AE, because this long distance travel on item ducks takes forever. I would pause the recording, but as soon as I do, the glass is going to show up. Come on, you can do it. Yay, there it is. All right. So how many did we have already? I think we only had one, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, duplicator is what we were making. All right, so we got those. We need three levers because we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Three levers. We need fluid ducts, but we need 
signalum plated fluid ducts. <clears throat> and that's because I don't want to have to use several sides of each block. And the signalum plated fluid ducts will allow us to transfer power and fluid, um, which is pretty handy. Um, let's see. Oh, we're out of signalum. Go figure. All right. Let's we'll do three again. Three buckets. I don't need to put the S on there. All right. So I'll put those in there. These in there. And while that's cooking, let's go put our duplicators in place. So we're going to need to break these three because we're going to have duplicators here and we're going to have fluid and power coming in the bottom and then we're going to have our levers on top. So we need to find a way to cover that. Hopefully it won't give us too much trouble. Facades. That's for XNet. Uh, can't use those. Let's look at covers. Maybe. No. I don't think so. All right, let's chisel some bits, I think is the way we're going to have to go. Diamond chisel and a bit bag. We're going to have to make one of those. I only really need one block because that's going to be overkill. All right, left click to chisel, left alt to display menu. Mm. For right now, we'll do a single bit. Okay. Now, how much wool do I have? Is that enough? Seven? No. Shears. Let's get shears. I'm pretty sure there's sheep right over here. Yeah. can do can we do the whole same material I don't mm. let's just do planes all right We're going to place these I'm still trying to figure out how this works all 
Oh, haha. Uh -huh. Like that, maybe? Hmm. All right, so Tuslim bits won't work. Oop. All right, let's see if we can figure something else out. That was a pretty big waste. Let's see, there is Sneaky lever, secret lever, maybe. Ooh, that requires a lot of die. A block is not consumed. Wonder if that would work. Window cream. Okay, we can do that. Sneaky block. Sneaky lever. Let's go get our levers. I wasn't expecting it to be this much trouble. Oh my god, no! Why? Why are you here? Oh boy. Can't handle this kind of stress, people. All right. Three sneaky levers. And we're going to apply a cobblestone model. And hopefully it takes the attributes of those models. It does. Okay. Good. Now. You need to stop that, little dudes. Uh. Okay. Let's sleep and get rid of this rain. I know there's a way to do that with how did I do that nope oh it's Z okay now I know okay so we got some signalum going. Uh, we need thirty copper. No, <laughs> thirty copper. We need nine copper. Oh, is it silver? Let's see. Yep, one silver, three silver. We should have plenty of electrum, so. That shouldn't be anything to worry about. Any day now.
Hmm. All right, the copper's in there, which means the silver should be in there or should be in there soon. Okay, there it is. Uh. more sand. Okay. Let's cook these. How'd you get there? Alright. More than enough. Alright, so Signalum plated fluid ducts. Let me see how many fluid ducts we had first. Yeah, we'll use the opaque because we don't really need color. Alright, you stupid. And electrum. All right. I guess it only works on hardened fluid ducts. That stinks. All right, let's make some hardened fluid ducts. Invar and lead. Of course, we need invar. All right. Nickel. We'll just make a bunch of it. Overkill. Oops, get back here. Thank you all. We need more upgrades, but I think we're going to wait for auto crafting to do that. <clears throat> All right, now let's try that again and electrum. Much better. I don't think we'll need a servo because we can make the uh, active with signal. Why? Why? I guess I have to have an empty hand. Okay, active with signal, and those are all off. Stop it. Oh my gosh. They're getting power, they are not getting fluid. Did I set all of those to active wood signal? Yes, okay. So you will do like that. And they're getting fluid. Okay, so we'll put wither skeleton there, slime there, and blaze there. Might as well turn all three of them on and see how it works. Make 
sure we have room for all of the items that we're going to be getting. That's a lot of items. Oh no. No, thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Hmm. Oh boy. Not even sure if I have a weapon in here. I'm probably gonna die again. Alright, we'll be back once I stop dying. Alright guys, welcome back. We uh, we died a few times, obviously. Um, but what was happening was the mob duplicators spawn five blocks around them. So two blocks above it, the block layer that it's on, and two blocks below it. So, I had to fill in below it, and I don't want cursed earth there. Oh boy, that's all cursed earth. Um, anyway, I had to fill in below it to prevent that from happening. And I also, I use redstone receivers and button modules with a screen to toggle the spawners. Now what was originally happening uh, with the sneaky levers, um, I would enable one of them and it would enable the one next to it. So if I enabled the slime, then it would also enable the wither skeletons and the blazes, which was not good. So the redstone receivers, they apply a redstone signal to the block next to them which means that that block actually has redstone power so in this configuration I've got the redstone receiver pointed up at a block of cursed earth which is activating the mob duplicator next to it so I've got one here one there and one here um, so we need to fill this in with cobble Um, so yeah, everything is safe again, I think, I hope. Um, we're getting resources. Uh, we actually already filled up on slimes, so I had to put void upgrades in these two because I had already put them in the rest of them. I just needed to add them to these two. Um. How are we doing on weather skeletons? 28. I can't complain about that. Um, it says gunpowder is there, but it's not actually there. Yeah. It's been doing that. I don't know why. They glitch out and they show an item that's not actually there. Um, anyway, that's that. So, let's seal this back up come on seal that back up turn off the lights build up some mob essence again because we went through that really quick which makes sense because all three spawners were active 
It's not ideal. <clears throat> so I think I think we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Um, I also I don't know if I was recording when I did it, but I added stone swords to the trash can so it pulls out the stone swords now. I need to put these back in because I took them out while I was testing. So slime in here, blaze in there. And now we can we can test it again just to show that it is working. So we'll do slime since it's right in the middle. And it's only spawning slime. It's not spawning wither skeletons or the blazes so we're good I'm um, gonna go ahead and turn that off because we've already got way more slime than we want um, really only getting the slime for the slime pearls and the slime pearl is mostly just so that we can get the uh, tome of alkahestry um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next one.